I hate to say it, but as ugly as this shoe is, this may be, may just very well be the most comfortable Yeezys out there. Hey, what's good guys? It's your boy Dizo, Shades and Souls. Today we're gonna be talking about the Yeezy 700s. Now, I didn't really expect to get this shoe. You know, the first time this came out, these were in pre-orders in the uh, Yeezy supply. And then I had a chance to get them. I never did. It was, it was like waiting for a couple of hours before uh, pre-orders uh, sold out. And I never, I don't know, I just never really wanted to get it. Uh, because this fucking shoe looks ugly, man. Like, it looks ugly, alright? And that's why I didn't get them at first. Now, uh, months passed and I came to have new friends out here in Sacramento who are actually um, really big on the hype shoes. And so I became really good friends with one of them. Uh, shout out to Juan, we're really good friends. He had these. Um, I tried it on, I tried to look at the shoe and I hate to say it, but as ugly as this shoe is, this may be may just very well be the most comfortable Yeezys out there. But from the outsole, as you can see, it looks like a, since now I'm into, I've always been into bikes, but since now I'm back into being on bikes, this actually looks like a tank pad so that you don't scratch the tank, but more importantly, so that there's be, there'll be a grip in that area. This is exactly what this one looks like. All right, now at first, before uh, even seeing the shoe in person, I never thought that on the cushion side it had boost. Underneath this, this actually, this actually boost. Outside of the boost, on the midsole area, it is cased in an EVA foam. And that's why at first, I thought that it'd just be straight up EVA and it wouldn't even be comfortable. So moving past along that, we go to the upper, which is, there's a lot of stuff in the upper, guys. We got mesh material, we got leather, we have suede, we have reflect reflectives right here around the base of the tongue and on the neck of the tongue area. Leather panels in the medial side, mesh again, suede. Materials are just everywhere with this shoe. And then to top it all off, this bright ass yellow or yellow greenish neon looking like laces. All right, like this shoe is just out there. So, and like I said, this may be the most comfortable Yeezys. Um, when I tried this on, um, this is actually Bringing, back, bringing me back to my tutor size, which is a nine. Now, most of the other Yeezys, like the seven or the 350s, uh, I go I go nine half on those. That's 0.5 or a half size bigger than my normal size. And in some Adidas basketball shoes, like this one, like I had to go down half a size, but this one is my tutor size. This is a size nine. Um, what else? So I haven't worn the 500s yet but in the 500s you should also go with the true to size same as what you were, uh, were wearing on the 700s so i tried this one on this one's actually really comfortable like i said like the most comfortable yeezys out there um am i gonna run in these no i might take some shots or uh take this to shooting practice maybe because it got it looks like it got good traction. Um, also, one more thing about this shoe is that you can't see any Adidas, right? The Adidas is actually in here. So there you have it, guys. A close-up look at the Yeezy 700 Wave Runner. Did you guys cop the shoe? Did you guys like this at first? What about now? Um, you guys ever going to buy it? Trust me, the most comfortable Yeezys out there. Yeezy 700 Wave Runner. Thank you guys for watching. This is Boy Dizo. Peace out.